Hi, my name is Norbert and I am the coordinator for the Big Data Solution Architecture Program. Over the next few minutes, what I'd like to do is introduce you to uh, the program itself and hopefully answer some questions that you may have. What we'll do is we'll take a look at the program itself, look at some career opportunities, uh, review the admission requirements, give you an overview of the courses, discuss the device that you need to bring, and uh, introduce you to the co-op program. Companies that embrace modern information technology must deal with very large amounts of data. This big data often manifests itself and can be shown in visualizations that make it easy to understand what is actually encompassed in all of that raw data. These visualizations help to make good business decisions. In this program, the students will be preparing data, working with data, visualizing that data to help support those decision-making processes. In that process, students need to know some programming. Students need to know about relational databases like SQL and non-relational or not only SQL databases in the realm of NoSQL. Some data warehousing concepts are good in order to be able to bring that data together and utilize appropriately, and definitely being able to visualize and even analyze some of that data. These are all skills that are taught within the program. This prepares the students for jobs like business intelligence analyst, data architect, business intelligence solution specialist, business intelligence developer, and data scientist. This program provides the foundations for those different positions and um, uh, gives you a good opportunity to, to move into those fields. The potential employers include large manufacturers, financial institutions, the public service sector, and literally any organization with an active web presence. <clears throat> The admission requirements are some sort of a diploma, advanced diploma, degree, or equivalent standing in any of the areas that are related to computer science. Since this is considered a graduate program, you must have one of these undergraduate uh, diplomas or certificates or degrees um, in order to be accepted. And of course, um, you do need an average grade of B or above. Uh, based on the Ontario standards. So computer science, software engineering, software engineering technology, computer engineering, computer application development, computer programmer analysis, um, uh, IT innovation and design, uh, computer or mobile applications development are all areas that provide the basis for what we're looking for in this program. You may also have a degree in some other area that may have some software development included in the curriculum. We would also consider this as part of the admission process. The program itself is eight months in duration. There are two consecutive four month programs and we have an intake in September, January, and May. The optional co-op occurs after the eight months of study and it's a four month paid employment. The courses, in level one include relational database design, the NoSQL database implementation course, programming for big data using Python, data analysis, mathematics, algorithms, and modeling using the R language, and software quality. In level two, the courses include ethics and security, emerging trends in big data, big data integration and storage, web analytics and business intelligence tools, and case studies. Descriptions for all of these courses are on the website, and I'll refer to that again later on in this presentation. We have no books in this particular program. The industry is so fast paced that it's very difficult to find a book that will have some duration or some longevity. It's more effective to provide online resources and certainly uh, classroom instruction. You are required to have your own laptops. You do need to bring them to school with you. And the software licenses you require are generally provided by Conestoga. Some software is available in the public domain. And as you need to, uh, you will be instructed in terms of what has to be installed and how you would do so. 
in terms of the minimum requirements for the computer should be Windows, Windows, uh, sorry, Microsoft Windows 10 or Apple OS X 10.5 or higher. If you run an Apple computer, uh, make sure that you have parallels on there so you can run Windows as well. It should be a seventh generation Intel Core i3 processor or better with at least eight gigabytes of RAM and no fancy graphics. So the built-in graphics is sufficient for this course, for this program. Um, it should be 256 gigabytes uh, or greater in hard disk space and hopefully have a solid state drive. You need a, web, a wireless network adapter supporting 802.11G and or AC, and that's pretty well standard now. Should have at least a 13 inch screen and 1920 by 1080 is the resolution that's recommended or better. Uh, two full size USB ports, USB three or better. A multi-year warranty, at least two years, but three or four is better. A virus protection software, and optionally the ability to connect your computer to a wired um, Ethernet uh, base or and, and also optionally a webcam. There is more information available on the Conestoga website as indicated by this particular link, conestogac.on.ca slash BYOD, and you should be able to get this information. But it's pretty much a standard higher end laptop computer you require. All applicants apply to the non-co-op program. In other words, level one has both those students who have no interest and those students who have an interest in co-op. Students will be informed of the application deadline and the process sometime during level one. To be considered for admission to the co-op program, students are required to achieve a minimum average of at least 3.75 or 80% in a session weighted average. No dropped or failed course is allowed to be considered. Now note that this is to be considered for admission. The labor market conditions determine the number of co-op seats. Every student who meets the academic eligibility requirements may not necessarily be admitted to the co-op stream. For example, we have had only 10 positions available for co-op and this was in a class of 35 students. There may have been 15, 20 students with 80% or better, but only the top 10 make it into co-op. Let's take a quick tour of the campus. And we'll just move on to this particular screen. As you enter uh, the building off of University Avenue, towards the right is where the library is, and behind that towards the back is a four-story tower uh, that has all of the IT courses and programs. As you walk into the building, uh, right from that front door, you're greeted with a nice reception area. As you look towards the right, the cafeteria area is just in front of you. And there's a corridor towards the right that allows you to get to the elevators to the IT portion of the building. In the uh, library itself, um, you have lots of good workspace. You have rooms that as groups you can go ahead and book. Um, and as you can see, uh, it's, it's comfortable, uh, the seating is comfortable, and there are even uh, uh, desktop computers that you can go ahead and use while you're in the library itself. As you move into the IT wing, there are some rooms that have uh, still some uh, equipment in them. Um, a couple of them are labs for specific programs, but most of them, uh, if they have computers in them, they are for your use if you don't have your own device with you that day. The actual classes themselves look more like this, where um, uh, we have space, um, clean desktop space with jacks and power outlets. Um, this is a lab that is used for some of the hardware work. Uh, the labs that you will have, uh, that you would be using, are normally not raised seating um, with, um, uh, again, jacks and uh, power outlets. But this is what you know, you might expect in terms of a typical room that's available. Now, if you are um, interested in more information about the program, if you go to the Conestoga website under programs and courses under full-time programs, you can find information on every program at the college. For the Big Data Solution Architecture program, you can see there is a lot of information here, including some of the information we just talked about. But I do want to highlight two things. One is the program courses 
if you look at the courses themselves here, each one of these has a description associated with it. And if you look at the number of credits, the number of credits are a good indication of how many hours per week you'll also be in that particular course. Another thing that might be of interest to you is to look at the program handbook. And in the program handbook is program specific information, typically policies um, in terms of, um, uh, you know, co-op uh, employment, in terms of um, uh, how you might be able to recover uh, courses or marks that uh, you may have failed in or might be deficient in, uh, various procedural things that might be a part of uh, information you might need to know how to succeed within the program. Let's just move back and um, go back to the slides again. And I wanted to just highlight um, where you might be able to get information here. Um, you can certainly email me at nmika at conestogac.on.ca if you have uh, any questions about the program itself. Uh, but as I just showed you with the slides themselves, uh, sorry, on the website, um, uh, conestogac.on.ca, full time big data solution architecture will give you that information that you just saw me highlight on, um, on this presentation. Okay, I wanted to thank you for your time and your interest in Conestoga College and the Big Data Solution Architecture Program. Have yourself a good day.